Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. Kaka! 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 Oh my god. What's like, what's that? Guys, so. can you tell your cats to quiet down? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to record an episode. Wow, those are some loud cat noises. <laughs> yeah. Unmistakable <laughs> cat noises. Birds. Who needs them? They're, They're just like us. We all have them? Yep. Yes. We have to stop doing that. We can't keep doing that. Jacob. People like it now, but look, I look into the future in my scrying orb and I see in the future they hate it. Wow, Jacob, that sounds like something someone who's going to get bullied this intro would say. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? You Bird. know who's really good at bullying? Bird birds. Oh, they are, yeah. We're going to we're going to do <laughs> some bird drawings today. We're we're hitting up the scientists. We're saying, "Hey, why would you name these birds this way?" <laughs> Hey, you. <laughs> and we're going to call out some scientists right here, right now about some, some dumb, so, some dumbly made birds. Hey, bird scientists. Hey, bird You're scientists. getting exposed. <laughs> bird scientists exposed for being bad at names. Nathan, yeah. I'm going to give you the first one. Are you ready? So you're giving me the name of a bird. Yes. I'm going to draw that bird based on the name. And yeah. And we're going to make fun of the, the bird name. Yes. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds yes. like an episode. Let's do it. Your bird name. Mm -hmm. Horned Screamer. <laughs> Ka -ka! Ka -ka! Live. <laughs> Horned Screamer. Horned Screamer. <laughs> That's just like half a Twitter, am I right? Oh hey. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow. Hard hitting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good ciao. <laughs> I remember when I was a teen, I was quite a bit of a horn screamer <laughs> myself. You had horns? I was pretty horned up. Or is that the screamer? <laughs> I can give you some info on these birds if, yeah. if anyone needs or yeah, if anyone wants. What are wants. their stats? Yeah, give me their stats. <laughs> What's the typing on the bird? What are they Is strong? it a puppet type? They're flying, their flying type is, uh, they, they, got, they got a 10 in the stat for flying. Okay. They sure can. <laughs> <laughs> they sure can fly wow incredible this bird can fly <laughs> this bird can fly uh they're small birds oh okay well the, this can be any size yeah, this can be so. any size okay. yeah I, I was sort of imagining like a large fantastical screaming bird but well, they do look Imagine fantastical a small fantastical screaming okay, bird okay yeah I can, I can do this this just, is this is fine you can just recontextualize yeah. the size yeah. later yeah um they're from the wetlands of south america <laughs> i thought you were just gonna say the wetlands <laughs> the you know. wetlands <laughs> yeah, they're from the wetlands, all right. If you yeah. know what I'm saying, horn screamer. Yeah, here's You're the thing. Still describing me as a teenager. <laughs> I can't believe you were a bird. I was a bird. Here's the thing. Um, I'm glad to see that scientists have the same naming conventions as the people who really done messed up the states of of America, because there are three types of screamer species. There's the horned screamer, and then the northern and southern screamer. <laughs> So you can either be northern, southern, or horned. <laughs> what, which gender are you? <laughs> well, being horned is what unites us all, regardless of geographic location. True. Damn. We all become horned in the end. Uh, they're related to ducks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this okay. is a fantastical duck. I like it. Should I, should I give it more of a bill? I've given it I a mean, beak. that's kind of like a duck. Yeah. I like it. It's like a duck that would actually hurt me. Well, yeah. duck mouths don't look inside them. They're I just want gross. It, yeah, I normal want ducks can't hurt me. They've screamy. tried. <laughs> Karina's fought many a duck in her day. Normal yeah. ducks can't hurt you yet. <laughs> They're working on it. Not until this one. <laughs> I've yet to find one that has. Let's, let's really scream. Oh, really Every weekend it. I go to Central Park and find <laughs> Karina fighting a duck <laughs> in the pond. Effortlessly. <laughs> Effortlessly. Herself from the duck. Just strong arming a duck. <laughs> wow, that is a wide mouth. That it's, is... a, it's screaming. Yeah. It's screaming bloody birder. <laughs> I'm horned.
That's what it screams. Yeah. We know. <laughs> you say it every day. <laughs> when you wake up and when you go to sleep. I like to imagine that they don't identify with being Northern or Southern. They're like, listen, I'm not involved in that. Uh, we're our own thing. We're horned. Yeah, I don't get with that beef. I don't get with that. I'm different. <laughs> I'm not like I'm, other birds. I'm not like other screamers. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to say in, you know, this is a warning to the bird scientists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if we get to the end of this segment and we look at this bird and we can listen to the sounds it makes, if it doesn't do what I could only describe as screaming, I'm going to be furious with these scientists. I have good news for you. We can listen to a horn screamer call. Should we do it now? Can we hear now? I can. Yeah, for sure. Let me hear it. All right. Let me hear that scream. It sounds like a damn clown car horn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a screamer? Well, we don't know if there's a, a further screaming call. We don't know. This clip is a minute and 23 seconds long. Well, let's just sit here quietly. We'll and just wait. wait. We'll wait for the scream. <laughs> Pretty standard duck noise. Where's the scream, scientists? I'm waiting. Hey, scientists. <laughs> Got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> well, they do this all the time. They name things they like aggressive names. Unbelievable. And then you go check it out and it's like, oh, it's just a dog. <laughs> and it's like, why did you call it like a eruptive <laughs> hell beast? It's just a dog. It's just a dog. Some dogs are eruptive hell beasts. That's true, though. Like poodles. Yeah. yeah I'll give it the webbed feet. This is a really good drawing of a bird. Yeah. Though. Thank you. I just found a YouTube video called Horn Screamers Loud. Okay, loud. Let's go. What, I'm ready. What about Horn Screamers Ellipses Screaming? Uh, that's also sounds good. <laughs> oh, I have to watch an ad first. No, mute it. Mute it quick. <laughs> We're not okay. giving free ad play on this channel. <laughs> okay. I think this part. They loaded the ad effortlessly. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a duck. It just sounds like a fucked up car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this. That's it. That's, that's it. A, that's, that's all it. that noise. That's all that noise is. Well, I'm disappointed. Same. Scientists, you got my hopes up, and you you done ruined it. Birds let me down again. Disappointed by birds <laughs> yet again. <laughs> just another day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, we didn't talk about your drawing, but my no. God, is it good? We just did talk about it. Yeah, drawing. well, we you said it were was really good. Doing something. I Julia was Googling. Didn't. Go Julia was doing the very important task of Googling. Everyone tasked me with finding the noise. Knife tail? <laughs> horn, <laughs> horn tail. Ooh. It's a horn. It's Every a horn. Oh, everything's one of those tail horns. Ev everything's horns. Everything's horns. Everything's. Wow. I know this horns. isn't what it looks like. Instead of bones, it has horns. It's just got horns. It's just I'm just giving it horns everywhere I can. Instead of a rib cage, it has a second skull. <laughs> full of horns. Screaming in its chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said it lived in the wetlands, so yeah, it some like, wetlands. <laughs> can I tell grass. you something? I'm looking at a picture of this guy. Mm -hmm. And now that Nathan's like basically almost done with this drawing, I am going to reveal that. I'll draw the background in post. I don't feel like doing it right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> These birds, they look like dinguses. They look they like just, dinguses. Yeah. They, just, they have, they they have like fencing dinguses. foils on their head. <gasps> that sounds kind of cool though. Oh. I'm going to send everyone a picture to send look at. It. 
send we're it in, in the, the Discord. same room. Yeah, oh, but yeah. <laughs> we can't comment. I have to be looking this direction to talk into the microphone. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is done. Look at this beautiful wetland background that has faded in. Oh, wow, it's so wet. Whoa, drippy. And that is land. Wet. I'll tell you what. Woo. This bird would fall over. Are we ready to look at a pic? Yes. Yeah, I'm waiting Generally. for it. All right, here you go. What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't even have duck bills. They're just related to ducks. Interesting. This looks fake. That's... Look at these little idiots. That's I incredible. love them. That's actually kind of incredible. That's really good. They look like cereal mascots. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He puts the Fruit Loops on his horn. They got like they got like dry spaghetti on their head. Yeah, it's like n- n- little noodles. Little noodles. Yeah, it's super good. <laughs> well, guys. Yeah, I'd scream too. <laughs> if I had that on my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Nathan, good job drawing thank, the horn screamer. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this one to draw. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I like thought it suited eyes. you. Yeah. Who would like to go next? That's me. I'm That's Jacob. Jacob. All right. <laughs> Jacob. Yes. I have a bird for you. I yes. <laughs> it's not the middle finger this time. Ooh, oh, this dang. time. Ooh. Ooh. The name of this bird? Little Bustard. <laughs> oh, I love that song. <laughs> Little Buster? Bustard, oh. like bastard, but with a U. Bustard? Like custard. Like, like custard. You can't say mustard, right? <laughs> little or bustard. custard. Can I have a little bit of bustard on my jammies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little little bustard. <laughs> from the bustard. from the Fooly Cooly soundtrack. Nathan, it sounded like talking. you were doing the Shire <laughs> theme from the Hobbits movies. Look, everyone, look up <laughs> "Little Busters" by the Pillows. Pause this video. <laughs> it's come ju- back. It's a good so- you no. Know, pause it and then come back. Little bustard. Little busters. Lil, Lil Bustard. Bustard. Lil Bustard is the bird. Could I Lil have custard. a little Bustard, please? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Would you like some info on the Lil Bustard? <laughs> yeah, please. So the Lil Bustard <laughs> is actually a large bird oh. in the Bustard family. <laughs> it's a big, it's it's the way Lil Bustard is a large lies. bird? Wait, no, <laughs> the Lil Bustard is a large bird in the Bustard family. So why is he specifically little? It's like how um how in the Three Stooges they named uh Cur- the bald one Curly, you know. So you think they did it as like a joke? It seems like maybe scientists were were goofing us a little bit with this one. I wish they wouldn't. It's Can I late. have any more information about this bird? This is no. cute. Yes. I like this. It looks like he's just sort of going. It's a living. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? I'm a little buster. I'm what just do you... a little buster. What do you need? Hey, come on. Come on. I'm actually pretty big. <laughs> or am I? It's like having a a big guy in your gang named Tiny. Nathan, I need more information about this bird. Please stop talking. <laughs> the smallest. Pale Arctic Bustard. The little Bustard is a small pheasant sized. I'm very confused about the size of this bird. <laughs> they can be hard to small on the size of this bird. In awe at the size of this bird. <laughs> here's, here's an interesting fact about uh-huh. the Bustards. You uh-huh. ready? Yeah. Both sexes are usually silent, although the male has a distinctive raspberry blowing call. <laughs> and then it has a semicolon, and then it says. <laughs> well, let me go ahead and change this mouth up. Yeah, make yeah. him make him doing that. Gotta have it coming out of here. Just gotta sort of work out the angles here. I also want to say, because I'm looking at some pictures of it. Oh. <laughs> little eclipse. Oh, that's cute. I also want to say, Jacob, you got something right out of the gate without any description is that uh, the little bustard has some little neck frills. So it's flat against the neck, but then it it goes out to make like a big cheeky frilly thing. Oh, I'm gonna add a little more to that then. Yeah. Nice. Make a whole Good job, Jacob. situation. Thank you. Jacob, great job. Wow. Yeah, you're doing Thanks, great. Everybody. Okay, thank you. Whoa. It's starting to seem 
more disingenuous the longer you say it. But these neck frills, these masterful. Are neck frill. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> these frills are giving me chills. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I've come to the age-old question: big eyes or small eyes? Let's try big. Let's yeah. let's see them both. Yeah, we'll start with 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 sort of big. Well, you could make big eyes and call them little eyes. Yeah, as as, yeah, that's <laughs> established. <laughs> Size descriptors are meaningless yeah. because it could be in relation to anything. Yeah, there's just no. It's it's got rules. little eyes <laughs> for a big-eyed creature. Yeah. <laughs> It, the eyes are about the size of a pheasant. So. I'm here to tell you, Jacob, not to undo your, your good drawing here. I'm looking at a picture of a little bustard. He does look like an asshole. Oh, does he? He's doing like a little smarmy step. Never judge a book by its cover. A yeah. smarmy step. It also says plumaged males are distinctive with black neck and double V-shaped white collar. I've given you the business, the business boy. <gasps> Double V white collar? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm getting rid of the eyes. They aren't right. Okay. With the new information I've been given, those were right. Those were practice eyes. Yeah. yeah. Those were practice eyes. We always do one set of practice eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so got we got the, the frills, frills, and then we, we have the, the, the double V collar. I'm kind of in love with this v, bird. I'm looking at it. V. It looks like uh, such an asshole. I'm so excited <laughs> to show y'all. And it's it's wearing like a little shirt. Yeah. Well, let's make it like it's wearing a long shirt. Ooh. He just woke <laughs> up. Wearing a little like night shirt. Goes into the kitchen to get a snack, but goes. <laughs> 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 what a horrible roommate. <laughs> oh yeah, here we I'm go. Never because then I want to get like an eyebrow situation. Hey man, were you in the kitchen last night? Because uh, I yeah, I heard that sound coming from the kitchen, and it it's just now all the all the uh, all the leftover all the leftover spaghetti's gone. I was saving. I wanted you you know I said you could have some, but not not all of it. And it's it's just that like that's that's the only sound I heard. There's some sauce on his face. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did it. He looks like the bird version of the kid in Knives Out. You know that that snobby kid who's always on his phone in Knives Out? He has that sweater. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He would be this bird. Did he eat spaghetti? He ate spaghetti. No way. There's some spaghetti on his fork. This bird is still less of an asshole than that kid. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> caught, the caught bar is the low. Yeah. Caught in the spaghetti this, this eating This bird's act. at least a little cute. That kid or, was... or a big cute. Oh, yeah. We yeah. don't know. We don't, we're not sure. I big would love cute. to know how big this bird is so it's I a, can know if I could push it over. It's cute about it's the size of a pushing shape. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks top heavy for sure. Like he'd, he'd I flail think it'd about. Be fun. Establish the angle here. We're looking like down at. We're standing oh, up. Oh yeah. It's looking up at us like. What you, what's what's spaghetti? What are you talking about? Yeah. I will say that the um, little bustard size is typically seventeen to eighteen inches. Okay. So that's like a foot Quite large and a few. That's pretty big. Tall. That is pretty, not seventeen to eighteen. That was, that was huge. Yeah. Foot and a half. It was like a foot Jacob, and a half. Jacob, you just motioned about two feet. <laughs> this is like seventeen to eighteen inches. That's not what you did before. Jacob, stop. <laughs> stop. Me stop. No. He's measuring his desk. I don't know. Oh my god. Twice. <laughs> He's spreading his wings. All right, I guess I that see is it. accurate. Do you want to see it? I want to see it. I have so many good mind. photos for this. For this bird. Uh, first, I'm going to send you the typical just walking around one. Here you go. That's a goose. It's just like a goose turkey. <laughs> it's a goose turkey, yeah. But it's little. But, I see the double V. <laughs> is it? Here's the best photo <laughs> of this bird uh, ever caught, ever. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey. Yeah. So it's not like what I did. No, but it is... 
it's doing it's doing it's, something. It's got some stuff. It's got the spirit. Yeah. That's a good picture. Yeah. It's an this incredible so good. picture. It's really coming at you. Now that I see it, it becomes clear to me that, that the little is not a descriptor. It's more like when you're mad at something. And you're like, you little bustard. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. You're so pretty. You Precisely. little so-and-so. Because wow. this looks like a little so-and-so. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, scientists. You get a pass on You this. get a pass. <laughs> well, Jacob, good job. Karina. Yes. You are getting put in the bird game. Bird. 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 Karina, I'm giving you the bird that has my favorite all-time look. <gasps> I'm so honored. Also, the name is fantastic. It's not actually the, the word fantastic. <laughs> Karina, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> your bird name is Satanic Nightjar. Ooh. Wow. Night jar satan this is what i'm talking about when i said like eruptive hellhound <laughs> this is what they do okay. these scientists satanic mm -hmm. little buster did you get into my satanic night jar night jar <laughs> <laughs> just there's less satan in it than there was <laughs> when i left it and you're not supposed to open it at night we've talked about this yeah the night Part of the jar refers to when you're not supposed to interact with it. That's when you leave it closed for sure. <laughs> Satan. I'm going to give you a, a descriptor that's not that's not in the wiki, but for me, as I look at it, yeah, give the me word that. that comes to mind when I see it is burb. Burb. Oh. It's very okay. burb. So Satan, but burb. Satan, Satan but, but burb. burb. But here's a thing. From the wiki, it says that in flight, the bird makes a plip plop call <laughs> like dripping water. <laughs> but plip plop. But, but the locals have also likened it to sound like a bird pulling out a person's eye. Interesting. Whoa. Interesting. I don't comparison. know how those two descriptions are. Combined. Yeah, I'm like con I'm getting a lot of mixed messages from this bird. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the sound of the person. The what sound? is the sound of a bird pulling out a person's like eye? Yeah, eye what a very out. specific like a. Yeah, like a plop. <laughs> Imagine it's like a. I think the locals really brought <laughs> a lot of their I'm own trying to make biases. Stupid. <laughs> the locals heard plip plop Satan. and were like, "That's the sound of an eyeball coming out." Oh my God, Satan! I loved you in Montero. <laughs> are those the wings or ears? Those are the ears. Little floppy ears. Bird, bird ears. Yeah, but it has. But like, it's burb. Okay, so it's not like. <gasps> That's a good place for the eyes to be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why is it called satanic if it's so doofy? I mean, that's that's how. He gets you, lures you in, gets you to underestimate him. You just go, oh, he's just a little doofy Satan. I, well, how bad can the deal <laughs> I make with him be? How and, you know, bad can he be? Pretty your soul bad. still gets taken at Turns the end of the day. He's trying to fuel the economy. Karina, I don't want you to erase anything. Mm -hmm. I won't. I like this. Yeah, yeah this is hell good. Yeah. But several times in this article, it says, it points out the lack of ear tufts on this bird. Well, he doesn't have any ear tufts. Those aren't tufts. These those are, are skin ears. Those are floppies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing on this. <laughs> so we're good. Yeah. Another thing on this article says that it is also sometimes called Heinrich's night jar. Also, Who's the Heinrich? diabolical night jar. Diabolical? What the these devilish night jar. <laughs> yeah, well, what are they up to, up to out there? I thought they were just plip plopping. <laughs> Blip plopping. Well, it's a night jar. Yeah, I haven't but, even gotten to that yet. Yeah, I just wanted to draw a cute little Satan. <laughs> um, oh, this is oh. a feather. Oh, um, but it looks like a third eye. Yeah, we That's love cool. to see it. That's fun. Apparently, bird advocates have pushed for the name <laughs> sat Satanic because it draws attention to it for conservation purposes. Interesting. No, I love this. They okay. So people, they just want it to have a wild name. People want to conserve the Satan. Conserve the Satan. Yeah. That's beautiful. But it apparently it really does make Skin some gross noises. Ears. So that's why it's named the way that it is. Okay, but then so advocates just, 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 just a little nasty. It's just a little nasty bird. Do we get to hear some noises of this bird? I, I certainly can pull something up. 
I hope it's not a noise that you hate. We support if it's not conservation. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a fan. Protect your local Satans. Yeah, they need you now more than ever. They're in trying times. Supply. They keep getting their necks snapped. Let's see. Nightjar calls. Hold on. Is it the one making the dial-up noise? (laughs) I can't tell. Let me pull up this one instead. None of that sounded like an eye getting pulled out. Right? And I would know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There was like that that <laughs> that clicky noise. Clicking is like a pretty like malicious sound. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard a mysterious clicking that wasn't followed by a horrifying event in my life. Yeah, That's true. Clicking's bad. Yeah, we one time like I was laying in bed in my parents' house and I heard like a weird clicking, and it was really late at night. And I looked up, and there was a tree roach crawling towards me on my no. bed. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no. So I can believe that. Clicking is heavily associated with roaches in my mind, too, because of Georgia. Yeah, why do they click? Why must they click? Why must they click? I mean, I'm kind of glad <laughs> they do so that I can be aware of that they're around. Okay, but like they move too fast. By the time I hear the clicks, it's already flying at my face. Yeah, you got the the flying roaches. <laughs> it's roach hour. <laughs> I don't know for the southerners to complain. <laughs> I don't know how I would deal with roach, but airborne, it's bad. That seems like too many. That they seems always OP. go for the face. He's doing a little click. Do they do they bite or do they just sort of get no, in there? No, like... No, they just sort like of fly a... into you. Oh, the roaches. Yeah, yeah, they just go. Into your face. They don't want to hurt you, but they do hurt you psychically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By being just like the nastiest conceivable creature. They're kind of in your face. They've got that sort of in your face energy that the teens love. I don't know what it is about roaches that like makes humans see them and immediately hate them so much. They're just nasty. I'm sorry. They're just tree roaches, at least. They're There's just some really cute big. Roaches. I don't. A, a bug doesn't need to be that big. I think. One of my friends had a pet roach and it was a green one and it was small and cute. Well, there you go. I like so that just do, roach. Hey, roaches, can you just do that? Yeah. Just be small and green yeah. and cute. Be small and green and cute and stop showing up in places where I really did not expect to see you. Stop it scares the shit out of me. Being in Stop crawling on beds. my toothbrush. Uh. Stop being in the drawer when I open it at 2 a.m. <laughs> and stop crawling down the wall onto my laptop screen while I'm using it. Those I are just all horrible. think yes. it's it's kind of <laughs> intrusive. Yeah, that's not that's not what you want. Oh, I forgot about the jar. It's, Fuck. It's vaguely <laughs> jar shaped. Night jar. I thought that was reflected in the shape of the bird. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'll make it more jar. What the heck is a night jar? Night jar. Hey, you ready to hear a joke? Oh mm. yeah. Oh, no. I'm so ready. Lay it on me. Okay, here it comes. When is a night door? Okay. Not a night door. Yep. When, when it's, it's a, a night, night jar. jar. Oh, good. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's because there's another joke. It's, that... it's, you, it, it makes the joke not work. Yeah. <laughs> by putting it's night a, in the middle. A little bit I of, don't get it. It's a little bit of meta. It's humor. like you need to know the first joke. Yeah. In order to Do you not know the first joke? Well, I know it now. <laughs> I figured it out with my you brain. You solved it? Do you I guys solved you it? You cracked it. Do you guys want to know what nature actually comes from? Yeah. Apparently it comes from the medieval era. Mhm. It refers to nocturnal habits of birds, the second part of the name deriving from the distinctive churring song. Churring. You just say any kind of word to describe yeah. a bird. Sound. It's like I don't. It just sounds like a bird. <laughs> Can you just say it sounds like a bird? Yeah. Like a little, like, it sounds like a churring, and like. also the sound of an eye being Maybe removed has... from a head. <laughs> 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 oh yes, of course. Just like ah like oh, yes, design churring. <laughs> mm. Classic churring. Somewhat related to what we were talking about before with the. With the cockroaches. <laughs> yeah, we're bringing it back. Sorry, Good. people who don't like hearing insect talk. Has anybody noticed, like, 
more spiders than normal. <laughs> no. Just sort no. of around. No. That no. just that's just a me thing. Nathan, yeah. just a you thing. We need to talk about your apartment, buddy. They're just you, been you eating spiders, buddy? I haven't well, I mean I not that I know of, but Well the average person eats eight spiders every night. Yeah. Every night. Yeah, the number's gone up. Yeah, <laughs> Every in my night. in my apartment for <laughs> sure that wouldn't be so. But if I'm eating all those spiders, it's then what are these other spiders doing? <laughs> Lining up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh you're not... boy, oh boy! I cannot wait for Nathan to eat me tonight. <laughs> when all spiders well... get to a certain age in their life, when you know they're done contributing to society, they crawl in the Nathan mouth to die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, these... Nathan actually eaten. eats. A hundred spiders a night. Circle he is life. an outlier and is not in to <laughs> not be included in the statistics. <laughs> all the yeah, yeah. The average person, <laughs> if you remove me, eats approximately zero spiders per <laughs> night. But if you include me, it goes up to eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's carrying a jar. Oh no, that's his plumage. Oh, he's I carrying. See. An eye. Oh, uh, yeah. That he plucked out of a head. That makes sense. Got it. They do that. Yeah, they do that. That's why they sound like that. Yeah, but people think it's like not something they do, so they just like joke that they do that, but they actually do that. That's that. When you hear the sound that sounds like they're pulling an eye out, that's because they've decided to actually do that. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's a great How eye. I never thought of that. Idea. I dear. I love it. I just like I'm imagining that he's just looking down at the person who he plucked the eye out of and he's like, What's your deal? This yours? Why are you on the floor? You made this? <laughs> I'm yours. Made this. I made this. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to draw a person with no eyes. No. No. Just imagine them off screen. <laughs> and this was an extra eye. They didn't need this one. Yeah, that was their Correct. third eye. They can no longer see into the psychic realm. Yeah. But that's okay. They shouldn't have been looking in there anyway. That's yeah, where they nosy. got the name of their band from. Third Eye Blind. Oh, my God. Why don't you say that? What? I love that song. That's the song. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. It's called I Got My Eyes Stolen by a Satanic Night Jar. Yeah, but we keep mishearing the lyrics. <laughs> is this it? This is it. I think this yeah. is it. Yeah. I like this bird. <laughs> I I think I like so this bird. Ominous. I'm very threatened by this yeah. bird. Should I make it looking at us? No. Oh, okay. I like that it's avoiding <laughs> eye contact. <laughs> like, oh, shucks. It's like, what, that? Like you see this guy walk onto the subway that. car and you're like, I don't want to know. It's like when you're scolding a dog for putting a bunch of tater tots in its mouth. And it's like, <laughs> what's a tater tot? I don't know what you're I'm talking a dog, about. And it's just, it can't make eye contact with you. <laughs> I know I'm in trouble, but I don't know for what. <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Would y'all like to see? I've learned nothing. Eesh. The satanic night jar. Show. 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 Oh, it's a little burb. It's a little circle. It's He's a, a little burb. <laughs> That's why I described him as a burb. I have Kinda another looks picture like of a it. Lizard. God, that mouth. Wow, this is a dinosaur. Yeah, the mouth is kind of satanic. Yeah, I like it. I like it when their mouth is just looks like a mouth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like hardly a it's beak. Yeah, very beak. fleshy like looking. A, yeah. <laughs> He's just a it's little like a angry Muppet. ball. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, that one and my version would be best friends. Absolutely. Hey, thank you for joining me on this bird journey. Uh, I think we all really spread our artistic wings today. Oh, oh. I've done it. Oh. Oh. Anyway, if you like this and would like to see more of this or have some suggestions, put it in the comments below. This. This. Uh, we also have a, a Twitch. Uh, we have a Twitch page. We have a Patreon. We got a DFTBA store. All the links in the description. Remember to like and subscribe. Don't get your eyes plucked by the Satanic Nightjar. But do conserve it.
but do yeah. conserve it. We like the satanic nightjar. Yeah. We like the satanic nightjar here on Droppy. You, you know what, We're scientists? Fans. You did okay naming these birds. You did pretty all right. Not the screamer. Not the screamer. No. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Can't believe we did a whole bird episode and didn't talk about eggs once. Nathan! Oh my God, no! <laughs>